What's up guys? I want to put together a little video. Um, some guys didn't really know exactly what sim is or you know maybe had some questions about some things, just gotten some bad habits playing games online so I want to put together a few things um, that we've seen in the league and that um, usually new guys the sim leagues get wrong. So first thing we're going to take a look at is the drop back in the pocket. Now this is what a lot of guys that are new to sim leagues do. As you see him just dropping back, drifting out, and then he's going to fire the pass downfield. Um, completely illogical, as you see him dropping back again there, and he floats a pass. You know, you're adding five, six, seven yards onto your pass here. Just keep drifting back, drifting back. You're also creating angles. Uh, it's something that, you know, a real quarterback would never do. Um, so it's, it's generally frowned upon. Now here, we're going to go back and look at the same one again. And as you see is the end, the right end out there, as we drop back, he's getting an angle on us. And that's the reason why just in general you don't want to drop back that far is because you're, you're creating an angle there that's allowing the end to get around the left tackle. And so the farther you drop back, the better the angle they have and the better, the easier it is for the defensive end to get around. You know, the second thing you're doing is you're creating a lot of space on the throw. You know, you're dropping back an extra five, six, seven yards, and now you're adding that to the throw. So here's what you should be doing is just a little step up into the pocket, throw it, and, you know, easy touchdown. You know, look at another one, or we'll look at it from overhead here. Again, just step into the pocket, you know, you take it, drop back, see, and see how we isolate the, the end there. He can't get around the tackle now because he doesn't have a, a good angle to get around. So that's the idea there. Again, we're going to step up in the pocket, throw it over the middle, cut back, nice gain. So, you know, that's what you want to do whenever, you know, you're, you're passing. Not only is it more realistic, a Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, somebody like that, isn't going to drop back, you know, and add an extra five, six, seven yards onto his throw, uh, but it's also going to help you as a quarterback, you know, be a little bit more accurate. So here's the second thing that guys do that get in a bad habit. As we see there, run a play action, or actually it could be any kind of play, and they just immediately scramble outside. You know, again, you know, this one is a little bit more tricky. Some guys don't understand it because they think it's in some way realistic, and in some ways it could be. Uh, but the problem is here, as we see Bridgewater scramble here, is just the defense doesn't adjust to it very well. So we'll take a look at the replay again. And as we scramble out, take a look at that, that left end there. He's still, as we're already past him, he's faced inside. Like he doesn't turn around and recognize that we're actually scrambling out until we're already past him and he can't make, you know, he can't do anything there. So that's part of where this is considered cheese in a sim league is because it, and it's just a programming flaw, but it's one of those things we don't want to exploit. Second thing is, look at the middle linebacker in the middle of the screen out there at the 20-yard line. He's just sitting there watching us until we cross the line of scrimmage. I mean, he's just sitting there watching, like, oh, what do I do? You know, Not only do you have a, a receiver down there that he could come up and prepare for you to throw to, but he could come across and try to make that play also. So what you want to do is just sit in the pack pocket, you know, just take a step up or just sit there, complete a normal pass, just like normal. Um, you know, just make an easy play, you know, complete the pass just like normal. Again, you know, you don't want to do anything outside the norm. Now, if you're going to get pressure or something like that and you have to scramble, you know, that's one thing, but you don't want to just automatically run and scramble right away. So here's the next thing that guys do that are in a bad habit of, and that's an inside zone play, and we're just running it straight to the sideline. It's a, it's a bad habit guys get in the habit of. And it's an inside play, but they automatically want to go outside because they think it's easier. Well, kind of the same thing as we see here, kind of the same thing with Bridgewater scrambling. You know, the play is inside, and if you look at the, the left end and the left and the left outside linebacker, they both bottle up in the middle. Um, and they're they're sealed off there. They're not he's not really reading what's going on there until it's too late. The middle linebacker was way in the middle. He's trying or actually that's the right outside linebacker. He's trying to trying to come all the way across. Everybody else gets caught in this cluster right there and again it's something that's not realistic because players normally would take better pursuit angles and not get caught up in that so it's just something that's considered exploitive um, occasionally somebody might do it if it's bunched up in the middle but as we can see there there was room to run you know and this is a proper way to run an inside zone you know just run it right up the middle you know take a good four or five yards and and move on that's the way that the play is supposed to be run so um, 
you know, again, here we're looking at it from the outside. He's taking off, running it straight to the outside. I actually cut up earlier than a lot of guys would. We'll take a look at it from up top. Most guys, and this is the thing that you don't want to do and that people consider cheesy and that will get on to you about, is how he turns and goes straight to the sideline. You know, and he fate right there. He faces straight to the sideline. Complete cheese on most people's account. Um, you don't want to do it. And if you look at the, you know, again, looking at the players, you know, as you watch them in here, they're all bottled up inside. They're reading as an inside run. They're watching the fullback. They're not really reacting and coming off, you know, their blocks. And so you're already past them. You already got an angle. You know, in real life, a player would be kind of seeing that. He'd swim outside to try to cut off your angle. And that's just something that doesn't happen on here. So, uh, again, um, you know, just want to throw those out there. It's three things that we notice the most in sim leagues um, that people have the biggest problem with. Um, so I wanted to address it, you know, kind of throw it out there, show you guys that maybe didn't understand why. Um, more people that are new to sim leagues and want to get a head start, just want to kind of throw that out there, give you guys something to look at, kind of explain um, why that works the way it does.